In this video we are going to take a look how to use PowerShell to manage the local server and also manage remote servers. So in the last video we saw how to use server manager to manage the servers. But in this video I want to show you that things can also be done using the command line without having a graphical interface. So I'm going to show you basically some of the same things that we did in the previous video. The first command is uh, a helpful command and a very informative command because in PowerShell all the commands are placed in modules. Uh, for example if you have the DHCP server installed you will have the DHCP server module. If you have DNS you will have the DNS module. So with the first command you can get a list of all the modules that you have on a specific server or computer. And here they are. There are a couple, so you have a lot of PowerShell commands to work with. And as you install roles and features you get more. And in the next command you can get the actual commands that are available in a specific module. And since we talked about server manager, let's see the commands that are available in the server manager module. And there are not too many. I guess the most important ones are the last two, install and uninstall windows feature, which are of course coupled with the get windows feature, so you see uh, what features you have installed. And with this being said, let's see how to use uh, these commands. First, let's try to run get windows feature. And uh, basically it gives you a list with all the features that are installed, but are also not installed, but are available to be installed. And you see the list is very big. And uh, as you see here, for example, you have the display name, then you have the name, then you have install state. And some of them are available, but some of them are installed. And the ones that are installed also have uh, the X at the end. If you want to see only the installed uh, roles and features, then we have to filter out a little. And we are going to run the same command, but we are going to say that we want the installed state to equal installed. And if we run this command, then the list is much smaller because we only get what we have installed locally. As you can see here, if we want to see data only about a specific a role or feature, we can use the name as the parameter. With this command, we can install a specific role or feature with install windows feature. We just give the name and it will be installed as you see here and you get the progress bar to show you how much you have to wait. And with get windows feature dash name telnet client we can see the status of this specific uh, item as you can see. Since Again, we don't need Telnet client. We can also use uninstall Windows feature with the name. And it will get rid of it for us. Next, let's move on to events. Because with PowerShell, we can also manage events from the event viewer. And with the first command, let's uh, get a list of all the system events that have the entry type error <laughs> and there are a few as you can see here we can also go a little uh, more and get system entry type warning for example i only want the newest free so don't show me everything or we can get events from a system for example warnings which contain the string time service and we get such events that in the message body the time service is specified we can also filter them by source which you see here source 
so we want uh, the log to be system but we want the source to be microsoft windows kernel general and here is uh, the result now moving on from uh, event logs we can also of course manage services with the get service command we get a list of all the services available on our server as you can see here if we specify a specific name we get only that service and with start service and stop service we can manipulate its state so we can start it and we can stop it and everything we did until now was done on this local server but with powershell and with winrm which we talked about also in the previous video we can also manage servers remotely and remote management using powershell can be done in two ways either in a uh, more ssh like way in which we connect to a specific server and we are taken to that server's powershell console remotely or we can configure more servers at the same time and in parallel using a command called invoke command and let's next explore both of them first i'm going to show you enter ps session which is the more ssh like uh, usage style for powershell remoting so you see that we ran the command and now our powershell session is actually on dc02 and now if we run for example host name we should get dc02 if we run ipconfig it's the ipconfig of the remote server so we are really connected with powershell on that server we can also use the commands that we saw previously like get service or get windows feature and so on once you are done wa uh, with whatever you need to do on the remote server you can use exit or exit ps session and you are back on your local server but also this type of remoting uh, sometimes can cause you headaches in case you need to do stuff on uh, more than two or three or four servers and in uh, those moments you have invoke command with invoke command you can specify as many servers as you want and then you give it a script block in which you put the command you want to run for example let's get the bits service on the local host and on dc02 and we got the information pretty quickly let's get event logs from both servers and also this was pretty quick much quicker than using event viewer or server manager let's do something even more interesting let's install the telnet client on both servers and once you run the command uh, the installation will, will start uh, on both servers at the same time and you see that on this co2 it's already done and it should be done pretty quickly on our local server and you see the result for both of them now we can get uh, info about the telnet client from both servers to see how it stands so it's installed on uh, both of them and again since we don't need it let's also use a powershell remoting to uninstall this role from both servers at the same time and uh, with this being said uh, this is also the end of the video i just wanted to show you some uh, basic commands uh, with which you can manage servers locally and remotely with powershell i hope that you will explore this more because uh, powershell is really useful and in my opinion it's the present and future of windows server uh, management if you liked the video then please actually like it and uh, share it consider subscribing to my channel if you want to get notifications and thanks a lot for watching